Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Expression Thursday. And I have a wonderful guest with us today. It is my lovely older sister, Marquita. And so she's going to present to us way, different ways in which she expresses herself. Um, and just to give a little background for her and why I chose her and wanted to speak to her and interview her is because she's part of those where she's a single mom now. She works, you know, at home and 40 hours a week, sometimes more she has her children that she has to take care of so she's a very busy person and I know a lot of times people say that it's hard to find different ways of expressing themselves and having that time for themselves to do what they need to do but there are ways to incorporate it in your day-to-day -day life and I wanted her to share her story because she's one of those busy people that doesn't have a lot of time for nonsense <laughs> and she can give tips to you on how she expresses herself so thank you for joining us today Marquita how are you I'm well how are you I'm good I'm good um it's not going to take a lot of time so we'll get right into it so I just wanted to ask you like how do you express yourself to the world like what what do you do well uh part of what I do is try to number one um get a mindset of who who's my audience like who who, who am I interacting with and how to best communicate with whoever is in the room and so it's a lot of trying to um, number one listen and number two try and critically think on what's being said how it's said and what's being expressed by the other person uh, and if I can't get that then I always think positive and try to think the best of people and then figure out a way to communicate with folks to um, not to, not necessarily be passive, but you know you don't want to be overly aggressive or um, threatening, but still have that communication of um, expressing whatever you're thinking, whatever your ideas are, and most importantly, uh, I think who you are and what you represent at the core. So, okay, so. Uh, so you would say your way of expressing yourself is to communicate with other people and trying to talk with them and interact with them? Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. So what would you say is your best tool for doing that? Stories. Always stories. I use a lot of storytelling whenever I'm communicating or talking to people. Um, it's just sharing those stories. You never know what that might prompt in another person. If you tell them a, about an experience, a movie, a um, uh, it's a song, a commercial, any kind of pop culture reference to try and create a connection with somebody, but it's usually stories, and you're trying to figure out a way to very quickly um, form that connection with somebody, but also get that to that level of understanding and comprehension so that, you know, that person knows where you're coming from, and, and you would know where they're coming from if they get the reference, if they kind of can pick up from the story and then expand on that with a story of their own. But storytelling, I think, is really important and just any interaction with people, period. Yeah, they use a lot of storytelling in the Bible as well. So, exactly, you know, Jesus yeah. did a lot of storytelling. That was his thing was to tell parables. And we come from, uh, I don't know if I've ever said this in any of the videos, but we come from a very movie family. So we do use a lot of movie references. And there have been a lot of movies that we've watched that actually have been kind of life changing. Um, I know one... Yeah, like one I talked to you about the other day was, um, I think you said it came from A Boy's Life, This Boy's Life, with the Robert De Niro and um, Leonardo DiCaprio, where they were in this heated argument. Um, he was grown. Robert De Niro was the son. I mean, um, Leonardo was the son and he was older and they got into it. And Robert De Niro's character told him, he said, you know, you can blame me for a crappy childhood the words were more colorful but you can blame me for a, a crappy childhood but what you do as an adult is on you and that was something that kind of stuck with me and something that I share sometimes with other people as well so we do use a lot of movie references <laughs> in our family because we watch a lot of movies and that's an easy way I think to really come across and communicate with other people because a lot of people watch movies 
So TV shows, books, yeah. Yeah, all of that, all of that. So what advice would you give to somebody else who's struggling with it, who just doesn't know how to express themselves or, you know, can't find the words in which to do it or just have difficulty with that? What would you suggest to them? What advice would you give to them? Well, number one, everything is in an attack. So I think one of the, the best things is not to always feel like you have to be on the defense. Don't be defensive about everything. And even if you feel that initial jerk, like if somebody says something, take a pause and think about it. And, and I think for me personally, um, there's been many instances in my life where if somebody has said something, like it, it was it felt like a personal attack. It looked like a personal attack. It smelled like a personal attack, but it had no grounds. There's no merit. I'm like, where is this even coming from? And later found out it had nothing to do with me. It was about that person's pain and how they... They're expressing it and thought I was an easy target. Um, so sometimes, you know, you have to give people that handicap. And, and part of giving people that handicap or that grace, so to speak, is also allowing that for you. So sometimes before you react, um, I would say take a pause. Think about where is this coming from? Um, is it really, does this really have to do with you or is this really about the other person? And then the ownership. Like if you, if you hurt somebody intentionally or unintentionally you need to say that be honest and then also share that like somebody might have gotten their feelings hurt and that you're completely blindsided you're like i didn't even realize you, i did anything to hurt your feelings so sometimes just being honest about that and recognizing the other person's um emotions and how they're feeling but trying to redirect like that there was no intention for that to kind of give them that reassurance so i think Personally, it's trying to understand, number one, who you are, what you want to represent, and how you want to communicate and interact with the world. Like, and, and, mo and I think to end it is don't ever ask or expect something from somebody else that you don't do and give yourself. That is a good one. Yeah. If you're not doing it, if you're not acting that way, if you don't reciprocate whatever you're requesting from somebody else, then you need to start there with you. Don't ever ask or expect something from somebody else that you don't give or do. That is really excellent advice. And that's one of the things we talk about here a lot too, is, you know, man, it's, uh, meditating and really working on yourself so that you can have better interactions with other people. Um, so that is, that is excellent advice. That is excellent advice. Um, so I thank you so much for joining me on the show and, you know, being willing to be interviewed and it was excellent advice. Know. Yes. And this is what I have access to all the time because this is my beautiful sister. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, you going to do me like granny? You going to do me like granny? <laughs> no, bye-bye. All right. Well, that's the show for today. Thank you so much for joining. And thanks again, Marquita, for being on here and sharing your wisdom with everyone. I love you guys. And I will talk to you tomorrow.